Hey guys, Whimsy here with the weekly vlog. As you can see, I'm not in my room. I'm actually out in the living room right now because my camera's out here because I'm doing time lapses for cosplays and stuff. So I thought, well, might as well just film it out here. Um, I've been in like major cosplay stress mode now because, you know, AX is evidently, uh, n well, not next week, but, you know, I leave next week. So I didn't even think about that till today. I was like, oh, I leave in like a week. So that's great. So I'm just like working on Vaporeon as fast as I can. I have to make two costumes for Vaporeon because I'm doing both the dress and the bodysuit. We'll see how that goes. I hope I can get it done. If I have to, like, prioritize, I'll just get one of them done. But what's going to be difficult are the... Well, the tail. The ears shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to make them out of foam because they look kind of like, you know, they, they wouldn't be too difficult to do. Um, the original plan was to have a Neko Mimi for them so they could move, but... Uh, Miranda talked me out of that one just because, I don't know, but we'll see. If in the future that would be cool, I might include it, but Vaporeon's ears are so far down on the side of its head that it might be a little bit hard to do. Um, but yeah, and then I've got something I need to make for Miranda, and then I've also got, I want to try to fix Papyrus's mask. Um, we'll see if that happens, because I'd love to bring Papyrus, because I don't want to wear his, like, I, I remember I mentioned it earlier, the mask presses against my nose, so I'd rather have something that's like, not gonna do that, but I don't know if I have time to make like a full-on mask. Um, now, you guys have probably noticed the last week I've been releasing a lot of Minecraft. The reason why is because I filmed eight episodes of Minecraft thinking, all right, this will get me through AX and all that stuff, and then they released 1.12, like two days later. So I'm just like, cool, this is all gonna be old by the, or it's, it's not gonna be like, okay, well, but this isn't 1.12. So, I tried to get them all, because I was like, I'm not going to scrap eight episodes, I'm going to post them, but I tried to get them as fast as I could, like, done. Um, things got a little bit delayed this week just because of stressing out, but uh, I managed to finally get Minecraft, my first episode of Minecraft 1.12 released today. There was no Dishonored today, sorry about that, I've just been, I, I know this vlog is also delayed too, but I've been trying to get this Vaporeon costume done, and my sleep's all out of whack, everything, so, um, just trying to, like, get the grasp of things. Um, last night we actually had our first gaming session for Almas's game. Um, it was interesting because like we haven't finished our characters yet like as far as character creation goes with classes and whatnot but that's okay he was he was cool with that he's like it's not gonna matter till level three we're just gonna kinda wing it for now um, just so everyone can like get initiated. Uh, so what happened was um, I'm currently the only person with two characters everyone else only has one but the plan is for everyone to eventually have two. Um, Almas's game is supposed to be kind of styled like a video game, like an open world, like an Oblivion or a Skyrim or a, you know, like a Final Fantasy, something like that kind of combination. So there's side quests, there's things that may never happen because we don't go to that area, whatever. Um, I'm hoping we cover all the ground because there are things that I know my Umber Witch is going to get that have, that require like side missions. So hopefully that happens. But, uh, so starts off in this little town, which, uh, my two characters, Snow and Sky, um, they live in the town. No one knows that Snow's an Umber Witch, um, and she has this 13-year-old boy with her who people assume is her son. Um, they both have silver hair, so there you go. Um, but she poses as a baker because she has to hide her power, so she's like, okay, but she loves to bake, so she sells her baked goods. Um, and then, let's see, Brent's playing a character named Constantin, who's, I think, based off of the character Constantine a little bit, or like, I don't know, it, it, it's confusing to me, but it's supposed to be like his his personality or something, I don't know. But um, he's uh, very amusingly like, you know, he always wants to make a sale kind of thing, he always wants to make money off of stuff, but like, and he's, like he has the air of like kind of being like, this guy might be kind of an asshole, but it's kind of funny, so it's just, we just give him flack for it. Cat's playing a character named Daisuke, who is a samurai or a ronin. I'm not really sure exactly, but uh, he doesn't talk. I think it's because it's something to do with his his voice is cursed or something, or like it got taken away from him from a demon that's dealt with Constantin, because they're, they're together. So he talks by writing kanji on signs and lifting them and saying like, like that's his like reaction to the scene, so it's like really funny, but he also has body language and everything. Um, and he's pretty cool. And then uh, Ariel's gaming with us, and she, her character's name is Vera, I think. She's just like a, a ranger, I'm not really sure, like a monster hunter type of character. Um, I think, I don't know if she's like 100% set on her character, but we'll see. Um, 
And then we had a new friend, well, uh, a new gaming friend. Uh, he's a friend of Kat's that we've known for a while. Um, I, I met him, like, years ago, but uh, his name's Xander, and he... I don't know if we caught the name of his character, but it's like a... I think it's like a Frankenstein's monster type of thing, but he's intelligent, so it's, like, really interesting. Sadly, he didn't get introduced to, like, the end of the night, but it's just because... I guess Almas had only planned it for the four of us, so he's trying to think of how to get Xander's character in. Um, so what happened was, we're just like, this, like, it's kind of a normal day, but the thing is, um, my characters, because my characters live in a, an abandoned clock tower, which was once a symbol of Umber Witches, but it's not like the main thing, it's just a symbol. Um, and they heard this weird flapping outside, and it looked like we saw like some sort of a weird crystal or something. And then, you know, we go about doing our daily business. Mike Snow's managing her little shop, dressed in her little baker outfit. Uh, Sky's off running around trying to figure out what the heck that was, because, you know, usually he'd be tending the shop with Snow, but, or the cart, sorry. It's more like a little, it's like a, a bakery roach coach of, like, medieval times, I guess. So it's like a little cart with, like, like step up into it and kind of thing. And, but she brings all the wares out and, sell, and has them, like, on tables outside of the cart. Um, I'm sure the inside of it's got like an oven and stuff, or a kiln, or uh, what, whatever you in medieval times would have used to bake stuff with. Um, so, you know, what ends up happening is, all of a sudden like a knoll appears, and it's just rummaging around in trash and it's not armed, and everyone's like, what the heck? Because knolls don't usually come into the village, like, they know not to come here. And it turns out a bunch of knolls were attacking the village just because I don't know why. Um, so we had to fight them, and of course, my problem with playing any sort of um, any sort of games that are d20, I have crappy dice rolls, so anytime I have to roll a d20, I usually get, like, less than 14, and I roll a lot of 1s, so of course right off the bat I roll a 1, yay, um, but almost was cool, he just made it so that, like, my character went to stab the knoll, and it was like, I hit his armor or something like that, whatever, he wasn't gonna make it, like, a huge thing, um, also, when my Umber Witch realized what was going on, she snuck off somewhere that was, like, in hiding, changed her costume so no one would recognize her as the baker, and ran out and started attacking. She wasn't dressed as an Umber Witch, but she was dressed in one of her costumes. Like Bayonetta, she likes costumes. Um, so they fought the gnolls. I took the most damage, I think. Uh, a knoll, like, really hit me really hard, because we don't have, like, we have basic HP right now, so it was just like, oh, shit. Um, but I believe Constantine healed me. Um, we killed the gnolls, but unfortunately they took out a lot of the people in the village and we had to make repairs and stuff, but um, but then like shortly after the fight was over, this giant like wolf creature with wings appeared and it had like a bow in like, it, its legs were like eagle talons, it was weird. And it was about to shoot us with this bow, but then all of a sudden like these riders just come in out of nowhere, these like crazy knights in armor and stuff, and one of them just like javelins this thing in the chest and kills it. They grab it, and then they're like, they have like another thing with them, and they're like, let's just leave that, we have to bring, this is the priority item, and we're just like, okay, what just happened? And we were gonna, we, like, no one wanted to inquire, because it's like, these knights are like, okay. Snow ran off to go change back into her baker costume where no one could see. Constantin and Daisuke went off to do something else as well, so it was just Sky and Vera. And of course, uh, Ariel, she gets into mischief, so... She was, like, kind of irritated as to why they did that, so she shot an arrow at one of them as they were leaving. And the main guy was like, whatever. He just, like, ordered one of his young, er, one of the lower knights to turn around and deal with it. This guy turned around and just, like, smacked her across the face for, like, 14 non-lethal damage or something with the hilt of his sword. Apparently his, his sword sheath has, like, a D, a D8 or, so, or 3 D8 damage. These guys are, like, crazy strong. So she's out cold. My character Sky is just like, alright, I mean, I wasn't gonna do anything anyway, but holy crap. Um, so then when they leave, Sky goes to check out the other bag that they left behind. Snow's now back in her baker costume, whatever. Um, so Sky opens up the bag and this like big hand comes out that's just got like stitches all over it, and he's just like, oh crap, like it grabs him. But then it was Xander's character. When he realized he was grabbing onto a like a seemingly harmless young boy, he let go and was like, oh sorry. And then we went to, like, repairing the town and everything, but Constantin noticed that because, I'm sure, blood was leaking through Snow's shoulder into her, like, baker costume, and I think he could detect that that was a wound that he had healed, and he was like, I see, you know, and she's just like, what, you know? So it was like that. So we're basically being 
asked to go get goods for the city or the village or something like that from other places. So that's what starts our adventure. Granted, we're probably going to be sticking around to try to help a little bit, but we'll see. So that was, it was pretty interesting. Um, I look forward to the next game, but we probably won't be gaming till after AX. Also, with AX, I don't know exactly what the schedule is going to be as far as Let's Plays go before AX or during AX. Afterwards, I'm going to be like, all right, I got to get back into the regular groove of things. But beforehand, I've got some TikTok cherry clock stuff to release. I still have the free gathering from Fanime that I need to do. I have to get this done. Um, and then uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get a vlog out before I go. We'll see. I'm not sure. I've just I've just been like so stressing and busy and I've had a lot of anxiety going on. Um, so the next couple weeks might be a little rocky just because uh, there's been a lot of cons lately, I feel like. But uh, once this is over, then there's sack anime, which isn't that big of a stressor. I'm not going to make any new costumes for that one, I don't think. I'm just going to bring Bayonetta, maybe Papyrus, maybe Vaporeon. We'll see. I have to bring a Black Butler character, though, because of the gatherings. Like, I, I would be letting my friends down if I didn't. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just hard at work on Vaporeon's costume. So, yeah, that's probably what the next couple weeks are going to look like. Um, I'm going to try to get stuff released at AX, but I have to prioritize. Do I do TikTok Cherry Clock or do I do mine? Um, and, you know, whatever, like, the fans either way don't seem to mind, I don't think, if it comes out the day of the con or whatever, I just, I got barely enough sleep just doing my own videos on my laptop, I don't know how I'm gonna fare if I try to do both TikTok Cherry Clock and my videos every day, that might be kind of a hassle. Granted, um, I don't know, I could try to figure out how to work it, but we'll see. Alright, I'm gonna get back to this, um, I had to wait till nighttime because it's been hot. Hopefully any of you guys who are in the heat wave are staying cool. Um, it's been a nightmare here and I can't even imagine hotter places because there are. Um, like Arizona, I'm just like, I, I'm so sorry everyone. <laughs> um, so stay cool you guys if it's hot where you're at. You know, Hopefully you guys are able to re relax in that, that way because heat, oh, I can't function in heat. That's why I have to wait till nighttime to do this stuff. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Check the links at the end and the links in the description below. I'll see you guys next time, and until then, stay with us. I think we're here. I think we found the Lost River. Yeah, it's a pink bed! I've got a pink bed, you guys.